I'm looking for you online here. Hope everybody's doing well and uh, and so forth. It's good to see you. This is Pastor James. Sorry about that. I told you five o'clock and uh, it's about 10 minutes after and um, or 19 minutes after I had video problems. I thought I had it all set. And uh, anyway, uh, do not send me a text doing the video, okay? And uh, no, I'm just kidding and, and stuff. It's good to see you. Kitty Cat, it's good to see Kitty Cat back. Fred was here last week. Say hey, Fred. Hey, Mr. Jim. Hey, everybody out there. Uh, they've got some friends. They got Sock Monkey, and they got Leo, and they got Theo. Some of you know Theo from Cowtail Kids for Christ. And uh, and so, um, uh, are we on there? And uh, you see us and everything. And um, I don't know if we're on here and, uh, and, and things. And so, um, I'm going to see if I can find you here real quick. And so, um, um, let's see here. You're left for people oh, are watching. Christy's watching. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very, Very good. So, fun was, so let's find out who's here, okay? Uh, who's here? Okay, so um, uh, Jaxie's here, and uh, um, who else? Uh, Miss Gail's watching. Hey, Miss Gail. Rebecca. Rebecca. Kim. Tim. Kim. Kim. Hey, Kate and Josie, and uh, uh, um. Josh, and... Uh, we got a bunch of other folks out there watching. It's good to see you. Glad you're here and everything. Last week, and we're going to keep this about 10 minutes or less, okay? 10 minutes or less. That way you can go back and play and and uh, and things along that line, okay? And so last week, we talked about how to stay calm during the coronavirus crisis. And remember we did, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. And so uh, we talked about some things to help with the scared. Shup. S H I P, so we can smooth sail, right? And so, remember what the S stands for? That's right, schedule. You got it, okay? Uh, how about help me out? The H stands for, yeah, I heard somebody said help uh, because you want to help one another and uh, help mama out, help daddy out. Uh, the I stands for inform, that's right, because we need to let each other know what's going on. And then the P is the one of the most important ones. Remember to pray. And uh, we talked about using the words from the book of Philippians. Read just a little bit each day and say, God, what are you saying to me through this? And uh, and pray those words back to God to help keep us calm. Okay. But you know what? It's hard. It's hard not to be scared right now. Okay. So uh, listen to this. What you allow yourself to think about will affect what you do. What you allow yourself to think about... Uh, Will, will affect what you do, okay? So do this. What I think about, what I think about, that's right, is what I, what will affect what I do. What I think about will affect what I do, okay? So you know what? It's hard not seeing the news. The TV's on a lot of times, and, and news, you know, the news are out there, and they're all talking about the coronavirus, and it's hard uh, getting adjusted doing schoolwork at home, and it's hard your friends at school. It's hard not going to play soccer, going down to the park. It's hard not going and playing baseball and, and things along like that. It's hard not getting out to go and do everything that you want to go do, okay? So let me give you a quick Bible verse, okay? And so let me read it out of my Bible here, okay? I'm going to find it right here. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Say that with me. 2 Corinthians. Okay, let's try Corinthians. Corinthians. Okay, here we go. Second Corinthians 10, 5, okay? And it says, bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, okay? So let's try this again. Let's do it this way. Bring every thought. Do this. Bring every thought. Ready? Set with me. Bring every thought into captivity. Do it with me. Into captivity to the obedience of Christ. To the obedience of Christ. Now we're going to say it all the way through. Bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. Okay? Bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. What that is simply saying is that you have the responsibility for the way that you think. Okay? You have the responsibility for the way you're thinking. So let me help you out with the thinking because we all got crazy thinkings going through our head right now, right? Mr. Fred, how about you? Yeah, I got crazy things going through my head all the time. How about you? Yeah, I got crazy things going through my mind. Yeah, I tell you what, we all got crazy things going through our mind right now and, and stuff. And so you want to do. And so, you know, and, and 
So I want you to do this, and then I want you to take a picture of it, scan it in, and send it to me. Tell mommy, and now Mr. James done told you you done told you got to do something. Kind of take a picture, scan it, and send it to him, okay? And so here's what we're going to do, okay? So Kitty Cat, can you go over there? Yes, I can go over there. Okay, so here we go, Mr. Kitty Cat, just hang out right there. And then, now don't fall off now. We don't have to. We don't have to take you. And and and, and there you go. You good right there? Okay. So get you a big piece of paper. Get you a piece of paper. Okay. And so you're gonna get what? That's right, a piece of paper. Get you something to write with, because you gotta have paper and pencil to do this. Okay. And draw a line right down the middle. <laughs> Miss Jimmy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That's a crazy market. Wants to go crazy. Want to go crooked? Oh, want to go crooked? Okay, straight line. There we go. So we got a we got us a, a straight line. So make it two columns. Okay, on this side you're gonna write what if I F what if? Okay, so on this side write what if, and on this side write what. Is you know how to spell is right? I S. So what if? What is? Okay, here we go, Miss Jenny. And uh, thank you so much. And so um, uh, on the what if side, okay. So what side is this? What if? Make that sound. The what if sound, okay. So go make a worry list. Make a worry list. What are things that you are worried about? Things that you said, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Okay, so make you a worry list. What's, what you anxious about? What you scared about? And so make you a, wor a, a worry list. What if, okay? In other words, make a list of things that are happening right now, things that are going on right now. Maybe it's banging around in your head and, uh, and, and, and you keep thinking about it. And so make, make you a list. What if? What if I have a bad dream? What if I have a belly ache? What if I have a headache? What if I can't figure out my schoolwork? What if, what if I don't know who my friends are next time I see them? Or what if they don't know who I am? Because maybe, you know, some guys, maybe you just grew a long beard or something. Else. You just had all your hair change, color changed or something. I don't know. But make you a what if side, okay? And these are things that you are worried about. Okay, and so and so make you a worry list. What if this happened? Under the what is side, what can I do about it? If I have a bad dream, what can I do about it? Well, I can talk to somebody. Call Pastor James, even in the middle of the night. So, Pastor James, I had a bad dream. And can we talk about it? We will. Okay, and so what can you do about it? What can you do about each thing that you listed on your worry list? What can you do about it, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, what's something you, good you can do? Uh, you know, there's times that you want to go, ah, right, Fred? How do you do it? Yeah, ah, I want to scream too. And, uh, and so what what are some things that you can do to help you from, from screaming? And uh, what can you do? And make sure you write down on that, I can pray, because that's always something you do. Read the Bible and pray, and pray those words back to God, okay? And so um, what if... My worry is, what if this happens? What is, this is what I can do about it, okay? And so um, so make sure you do that, okay? Um, because, listen, right now, you probably are real tired because things have changed and, and, and all. And so, so what if, what if I keep getting tired and sleepy? What, what can I do about it? Get some rest. There you go, okay? And so um, so make sure you take a, have mom and dad to take a picture of it. Scan it in your computer. They can email it to me and send it to me. And uh, bring it by the house and drop it by here. That would be great. I would love to it because I want to be able to pray for you specifically what's going on in your life, okay? So make you a what if and a what is side. Now, uh, reach, look over at mom and daddy. Say, mom and daddy, I want you to listen to Preacher James now. Okay, go ahead and tap him on the knee. Well, that's my elbow, right? And uh, tap him on the knee. Tap him on the head. Don't hit him now. Just tap him. Say, listen to Pastor James. Okay, so parents, listen to me real quick, okay? Please, 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 please make a video of it or a photo of it. Scan it. Send it to me because I want to pray for them. It's going to help your uh, little ones uh, knowing that other people are praying with them and knowing what's going on with their lives, okay? And, and, all. and no one, especially me, now do this, especially you, Preacher James, especially you, Pastor James, okay? Do that, okay? Especially me, okay? So no one, especially me, is going to judge you and, and is judging you and your par parenting skills at this time. Nobody's doing that, okay? We all in crisis together and so this is the way that I can help you and things like that. Listen, you are doing so how about look at my
mom and daddy go, y'all doing a great job. Yay, yay, yay. Mom and daddy, y'all doing a great job, okay? And so um, you're doing a great job, so keep it up, okay? And um, and e listen, even though, you, you listen, listen, you're doing a great job. And I know everything is changing right now. And, and you might feel like right now you're trading water, right? Right, Theo? Right, right. Right down the store, yeah, it's trading, it's trading water, you know, trading, you know, you know, and you feel like alligators all around you, okay, and, and, and things like that. But listen, you're doing great, okay, so everybody do it. You're doing great, you're doing great, okay, and you're not alone in this, okay. I and many others are praying, especially for you right now, and to, to help you out during this time, okay. And we, we are lifting you up, we got your back, and we're just praying for you right now. So what, 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 listen, here, here's something, what, 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 what if you did you a what if? and a what is sign, okay, list, make, make your what if and a what is, do it with your kiddos, okay, and now some of yours are going to be different, what if I lose my job, uh, what if uh, we get sick, you know, do things like that, well, what can I do about it, okay, and so do that, make your own list, send me a copy of it also, okay, because again, it helps me to pray specifically just for you right now, I'm praying, I'm praying generally for you right now, God, keep them safe, keep their jobs good, uh, help them with the finances, and help them uh, keep the sanity, because all the kids are home all the time, and, uh, and things like that, but, um, but I want to pray specifically for you about specific needs in your life, and again, there is no judgment here whatsoever, okay, and so remember, you got to bring every thought into captivity unto the obedience of Christ, okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, told you 10 minutes or less, we write Right there at it. How about have a word of prayer with me, and uh, then I'll put all my contact information on it as we post it. Okay, you can send it to Pastor James at gmail.com. I'm sorry, Pastor Jamaway at gmail.com. Eight four three. Three four four zero seven seven zero. Okay, so get your piece of paper, get you something to write with. What if? What is? And uh, send me a copy, and I'm gonna pray for you. Okay, so let's pray. God, thank you so much for your love and your mercy for us. We thank you that when the what-ifs are going on and they're rattling around in our head and we're wanting to go, ah, Father, you know all about that. But, Father, you have a what-is plan for us. Or we do all that you need us to be. And, Father, thank you so much. And, uh, and Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll bless all of our boys and girls and mamas and daddies and grandmamas and grandpapas. In Jesus' name we pray. And if you all agree with that when you say amen. I heard those amens. I, I wish I could high-five you right now and, and things and so. Amen. It's good to see you. Hopefully next Sunday at 5 o'clock again, we'll do another 10-minute kind of deal like this, okay? I love you. Send me your, send me your what if and what is size, okay? I love you. Talk to you later.